Hey, Trenta say, on the pleasure we take on the early death of Keats, it is old school custom to pretend to be sad when we think of the early death of Keats. The species truth of the matter is we are glad. Philanthropic among exegetes, I am so moved that when the plate comes by, I almost think to pay the god. But why? When we think about the early death of Keats, we are glad to be spared the bother of dying ourselves. His poems are a candy store of bitter sweets. We munch whole flights of angels from his shelves, drooling a sticky glut, almost enough to sicken us. But what delicious stuff. The species truth of the matter is we are glad to have a death to munch on. Truth to tell, when it comes to dying, Keats did it so well. We thrill, we thrill to the performance. Safely here on this side of the fallen curtain, we stand and cheer. Salanthropic among exegetes, as once in a mile's high turret spitting flame, I watched boys flower in orange winding sheets and shammed a morning because to put a name to a death I might have taken, which in a way made me immortal for another day. I was so moved that when a plate came by, I had my dollar in hand to give to death, but changed to a penny, enough for the old guy, and almost enough saved to sweeten my breath with a toast for the pledge that I made to the ape of the divine and thanks for every death that spares me mine. I almost thought to pay the god, but why? Had the boy lived, he might have grown as dull as Tennyson. Far better, I say, to die and leave us a formed feeling. O oh, beautiful, pale, dying poet, fading soft as rhyme, the saddest music keeps the sweetest time. <laughs>